What's up everyone, Tristan here in Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, going for Weapon of Rock, which requires you to craft a Weapon of Rock, which is basically crafting the new Wonder Weapons. So what you need to do first is activate all the teleporters around the map so you can get into Pack-a-Punch. Once you go through the Pack-a-Punch portal, go over to this table and hold X. There's no prompt. Do it anyway. Hold X and these UFOs are going to fly out of the teleporter. And then, so that's important because there are four UFOs and there are four Wonder Weapons. So I'm going to show you where the UFO we're using to craft our Wonder Weapon is because you only have to do one Wonder Weapon for this achievement. And we are going for the Shredder and the UFO we are using is up by the Chromosphere in the Kelper system. Or Kepler? I can't, I don't fucking know what it's called. I think it's the Kepler. We're going to go with Kepler. But there it is flying around and if it's not there, your achievement may be a little glitched. So, it doesn't really matter what order you do this in, but... What we want to do now is throw three red coins into the Kelper, Kepler, fuck, I don't even know what I'm saying. The Kelper, Kepler system, and that plush will come out and just grab it. Alright, now we're going back to our UFO friend by the Chromosphere. What you need is a fat train of zombies. So we're going to train some zombies. So all the ones in probably round 9 or 10 are going to be required for this because we're going to train them and we're going to activate the chromosphere and it's going to kill them all and that's going to cause the UFO that's flying around the chromosphere to start flying around the Kepler system. Hey, I finally fucking got it. I didn't call it something different. Kepler, yeah, go Tristan. I can fucking actually remember things. You can tell I'm not an elephant because I forget stuff. I Maybe I should cut that. That was weird. I apologize. Alright, but anyway, so our train of zombies right here. I'm going to jump over all of them. Boom. I'm a badass, I guess. Don't try that at home, kids. Or try it. You could probably just train them in a much easier area and don't be stupid like me. But we're going to get the train to follow us up here to the chromosphere. I'm like, hey, hey, guys. And then they're just beating the shit out of me. I don't know how I don't go down. Activate the chromosphere, and it's going to start sucking them up, causing the UFO to start flying around the Kepler system. All right. So there they are just getting sucked up. I'm like, haha, bitches. It doesn't take all of the zombies in round nine. Just... Almost all of them. I have like two left. Alright, so I'm going to show you. Look, the UFO is gone. And now I'm going to show you where it is around the map. Just prove to you that it actually is flying around the map. So I'm like, huh, where is it? Fuck, where would it be? I'm like, huh, nope, not over there. I'm like, I'll just run past you, sir. Excuse me, and you. Little little figure eight bob and weave. Oh, so oh, I had three zombies. Ooh, But there is the UFO right there. Boom. Not a big deal. It's just flying around the map. And we're going to come back to that in a second. So, the next thing you need to do is you need the brute here to break the teeth of the crocodile. So, it with the crocodile will crush, he will catch it like a fucking boss-ass bitch and just break the teeth. And then what we need to do is we need 300 tickets, and we need to go to the arcade and buy the golden teeth. The golden teeth are always right here, always 300 tickets. You're never not going to have them. So, pick those up, and then go back to the old crocodile, and then put his gold teeth in there. Is it his grill? I don't know. Would it be a grill? I don't think that's a grill, but, eh, whatever. And we're actually going to need an additional 300 tickets, so we're going to need 600 tickets total. I don't show in the video because my video actually dropped a little bit, but we need to buy an arcane core. And as you saw as I was coming out of the arcade, there was those little trolleys. Go back and pause the video. As soon as I came out of the arcade, there's that little trolley. Arcane cores are on there. They're on the far right. 300 tickets. Buy one of those. And that's going to be important for us in just one second because it is imperative to use for the UFO that is flying around the map. Here I am just fucking around trying to get these goddamn gold teeth in. And once you get the gold teeth in, you can see right there, there's a little machine that pops open. And that's actually important for our next part. And then we're going to get the battery. So go to the fountain area with the fountains with the different colors. Shoot the back of that boat. It's not a very good video of it. I'm sorry. Those zombies were fucking me. I should have probably tried a different one. But, eh, whatever. Just shoot just shoot the back of the boat. It's pretty fucking easy. I'll, you just got to spray. And the battery will actually be shooting up out of the fountains here. And here I'm just fucking around trying to actually grab the battery instead of waiting for it to just pop up in front of me. It'll just move between them. You can actually get shot up by the fountains. I didn't know that. That was actually really cool, and I had no idea. And then I grabbed the fucking battery right there, finally. And then, so that is our battery. So we're missing one part now. The last part is with our arcane core. We shoot zombies around the UFO that's flying around the map, and it'll drop this flame once we have killed enough. It's basically a traveling soul box. So right there, the arcane core will drop a little flame. We pick it up, shoot this little machine right here. Ours is the farthest right and then we're going to go grab a cr crystal. I accidentally crushed the zombies right there, so I'm like, ah, fuck. So, boom, I grab the crystal, and that is all we need to craft our weapon. And then, so there it was right there. I had to complete the round, as I said, because I ended the round like a fucking idiot. So, we run past all these zombies, and we are actually now going to the underground section. 
on, in Journey into Space to actually finally craft our wonder weapon and get this achievement. And you can finally stop listening to me and just have your wonder weapon and just go hamsies. I buy a mule kick right here because I want to show you and I want to keep... I was trying to get a bunch of other achievements at this time. So I was like, I want to keep my fucking light machine gun I have. So I'm going to uh, get mule kick there. So we just run down here and we are going to go hang right once we get here where the little picture of the Kel Kepler system... Ha! I caught myself. I'm totally, totally made it. I'm. It was perfect. Ha ha! All right, and just keep running. We're going to run to the end of this section where you would run up, I believe, by Polar Peak. And then there's this cardboard cutout right here, and it's like Shredder. So just hold X three times, and it will put your parts in there, and then you're, and then you can just fucking grab it. You can just, like, little bob and weave right here. It'll light up like that. Grab it, and then that is what the Shredder looks like. It just pops them open. It's amazing. We're going to pause here, and I actually... Like I said, already unlocked this achievement, so I'm just going down here to rock on in Spaceland, craft a weapon of rock. That is our achievement. That is 15 gamer score and a rare achievement. Thank you guys for checking out the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and then check back to Nally Gaming for more.